Go ahead. You looking at the Pepsi Cola sign, the first thing you seen when you came in here, as you walked around, you took a quick glance at that image there, and then you kept on going. <laughs> and because, the, you know, you didn't, you didn't, you're not supposed to be here, right? Right. And right. I kind of like... <laughs> right. And then I just had such a, a spiritual response, historical, spiritual memory, because it's a time in my life when I was so lost, you know, and, and, and the picture bring, brings all that up for me. And then I look at it, and it's just a gorgeous composition, color, messages, just so much going on in the picture for me. And I had the same feeling with the Pepsi. Not to that level, but the Pepsi Cola, the Ratners. Um, you know, I, I must have seen Jimi Hendrix, um, you know, three, three, four times at, at the Fillmore East. Um, but, but I see it's after he died, so 1970. But Ratners brings back all, all of that. Um, no more Ratners. The same, I had similar with, with the um, Muhammad Ali, you know, because um, it's such a part of my, my childhood, you know, my early years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm 67. Um, the jazz club, you know, I must have been in so many jazz clubs like that, you know, it's, <laughs> so it's just a beautiful <clears throat> feeling. But there were places of comfort that you found when you felt that you were uncomfortable? Say like at the diner, for instance, after a heavy night and you realize well, you'd go there and they would be open and... You know what? It's comfortable for me because, you know, well, it, it's a memory. It, I always remember, I don't forget that time, you know, and how I felt. Um, so just you walking in here, reluctantly, <laughs> you a photographer, <laughs> you walk right by, going to a print shop. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> What's your issue? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got against photography? Uh, <laughs> my issues have issues. <laughs> so, so that's a complicated question, my issues have issues. <laughs> I love it. I love the ones of the film where you stuff. Those are really um, thank you, special. thank you, thank you. Because um, maybe I was in a lost period in my life, but it wasn't all bad, and the music was phenomenal. You know, and the spirit, and I mean, I remember Woodstock very well. I was there. It was special, you know, even though I was kind of a lost soul, you know. <laughs> so you got Obscura on your T-shirt? Oh, yeah. What does that represent? You, you know, the store. there's a store on Avenue A between 12th and 13th uh -huh. called Obscura that sells really strange things and they had it there was a television show there or is a television show mm -hmm. about the objects in that store which are very bizarre mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. you know like bones and skull mm -hmm. and shrunken heads mm -hmm. and, um, teeth and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, bizarre medical how many places like that left down here not many Hardly any. Why? Because um, the economy of our life now is changed. You know, regular folk can't afford to live down here anymore. So all the funky, strange places like your shop, <laughs> you know, are no longer. Mm-hmm. So I'm the last of a dying breed, huh? Last man turn the light out, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. For a dinosaur, yes. <laughs> yes. Left in obscurity and forgotten. Yes. <laughs> But, you know, due to people like you and other people that kind of like acknowledges, you know, the presence of the 4th Street Photo Gallery once you come in, you understand, you know, what the assets are. Well, also... For the ways that the, out, the liabilities of actually having this in some sort of storage cabinet and not being seen. I do understand that, but, and I also understand what you're up against in terms of surviving and make or thriving or making it into something like you're talking about preserving the history of both photography and and, and myself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, it keeps you going, I guess. It gives you a hobby. It gives, gives you something to wake up for. What, I mean, you, what would I do first? Wash the floor? Right. Or try to figure out how I'm not going to pay the bills? Well, what is there without hope? You know, without hope, this, well, we, what we, what drives me in this is a necessity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you got to go to the bathroom, everything else is forgotten. Okay. <laughs> Take advantage yeah. of the rest of the moment. <laughs> you uh, can't do yeah. nothing else. <laughs> Don't think about nothing else. You might miss <laughs> and run off. <laughs> honesty. Yeah, you're not. You're a very honest man. <laughs> that, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir.